Hello there. Just realised there's a little pumpkin there in the background because it'll be Halloween soon. But it's been a while since I've made a video. I hope the speaker's okay. I hope you can hear me okay because I had a few issues. But creaky chair, still in use. But we um, rudely interrupting all the time. Can't tell you how much I hate that creaky chair, but there you go. Yeah, it's been a while, and because um, I've really had not much to say. In fact, I just wanted to make a video, and I was thinking beforehand, what what have I got to say? What have I got to talk about? Um, all my early videos were just when I had a new pipe just to show people and say look this this is what it looks like in the flesh I think I used to say so anybody looking could make a decision about whether they wanted the same sort of pipe actually seeing somebody use one Because, as I've said many times, there's always all sorts of difficulties with buying pipes online. And we just, most of us don't have a brick and mortar shop that's near enough to be able to go in and have a look. I was watching an old video of the Peaches. I think they might have changed their name since, but they used to be called the Peaches. on one of their visits to Italy and they go in the Savinelli shop and I'm just blown away by the fact that you can go in a shop and look at pipes on display and open drawers and take pipes out and handle them and be able to pick one and I guess you know you can do that in Dublin or places like that I don't think I've actually been in a shop in the UK where you can do that I'm sure there are shops like that, but I've never been by one. That would be amazing. So for people that had to buy online, like myself, I would demonstrate the pipe I'd got. By the way, if you haven't already guessed, that's a Dracula Pipe 03 Sandblasted which is refusing to come into focus, but then Dracula doesn't show his image in a mirror either, so perhaps it's partly something to do with that. In this nice little bent apple, I happen to also smoke an apple aromatic pipe tobacco, Salani, 127, always enjoyed it, smells a bit like apple pie. And I like aromatics and this is a good one. To go with it. Doom Bar, an amber ale made in Cornwall. For now. Good health. Mm. 
Mmm. Very nice. Reminds me of the beers my dad used to drink. And when I was a kid, he'd always have a drink his beer, leave a little drop in the bottom, say, do you want to finish that? Although his beers would normally draft at the pub. And of course these are bottled. So I guess it's much more much more carbonated. So you get that bit of nasty sort of aftertaste like you get in fizzy water, that sort of carbon. Anyway. Beggars can't be choosers. Since the pandemic, I haven't been going to any pubs. Not that I went to pubs much anyway. I probably drink more beer now than before, but. But it just seems such a faff going to the pub, leaving your name, sitting far away from other people. Somebody was telling me how guys that they work with turn up to the pub in the, in the van or pile out, go in the pub and they have to sit at different tables and shout across to each other. And when they finish their drinking, they all pack, pack back into the van like a bunch of sardines in a tin and carry on. It just seems such a nonsense. Got to be careful what I say though. You never know who's listening. Well, this isn't keen on being lit. Hmm. I did notice with this, it's very coarse cut and there's a lot of sticks in it. You know when they have a bit of the stalk from the middle of the leaf and that ends up in there and it's like a little splinter of wood. Of course it's not, it's just a firm part of the leaf, but it's still not a welcome addition. I tried breaking a bit up and thinning it out, but it's just, would have been better just to chuck it out, to be honest. But lots of nice, really light Virginias in there by the look of it, as well as some dark brown. Smells amazing. Mm. One sort of new thing coming out that's been out recently in the UK is the Smoking Pipes EU shop. I remember looking at pipes from smoking pipes in the USA and thinking, well, they're lucky because they can see photographs of the actual pipe that they want to buy. So say if it's this one, you look on the section for Dracula pipes, you look at, go down the list and look at all the different photographs and you might see three like this, but each one's photographed so it can show the swirls or the ring grain, etc. So you see, not I me, mean, not in great detail, not loads, but perhaps one picture, if you're lucky, two pictures, and you have to sort of guess how it'll look from other angles, but at least you're not buying completely blind. So when the EU one opened up, 
and I could actually buy from smoking pipes in Europe. Um, I thought it's a good thing. And I've bought a, I think I bought a couple off there. And quite pleased with the results that I've actually got something that I want. I didn't buy this from them, I don't think, but um, I'm just using this to demonstrate. But of course, there's always a trade off. Where have I put my tamper? Nothing changes, does it? Nothing changes in my pocket. Yeah, I have bought a few off them. As I say, there's always a trade off, and the trade off is that they cost quite a bit more, maybe about £20 more than they do in the normal shops. So that's quite a big deal. That's quite a big jump. So, depending on the pipe, I mean, certain pipes are pretty genetic. They're, they're quite similar. Is genetic the right word? Well, they're quite uniform. So, it doesn't really matter if you have one out of the sort of pick and mix. Or lucky dip, is what I call it. Pick and mix pipes. I meant lucky dip. Um, but something that has um, quite unique stems. For instance, I was looking at the Atlantic pipes, which I've always liked. You'd really want to see a photograph and pick out one that appeals to you. So maybe then I'd be tempted to spend an extra 20. But it's still quite a, a hefty sacrifice to spend that bit extra just to be able to pick one out. So there you go. Swings and roundabouts. I was drinking an amber ale yesterday but it was a supermarket brand and it came out of a tin it wasn't wasn't as good as that in fact it wasn't particularly good at all but you get what you pay for usually Mm. One of the pipes that I bought from Smoking Pipes EU, a pipe that I've wanted for a long, long time. And when I had it, I was really pleased. Was the Rosslair 80s pipe. So pleased when I got it. And I've actually mislaid it. And I've been looking been missing for about two months I think maybe more maybe three and you know how things just tend to sort of turn up or at least you tell yourself things will turn up but this one hasn't so I'm starting to worry in case I took it with me to a fire station and perhaps put it down especially if it's one that I've been to doing an extra shift and it's miles and miles away but then again if it's lost it's lost however far it is but i'm starting to worry in case i've done that but it's not been in all the usual places and it seems to be i don't know whether it's my age or whether it's the 
amount of crap that I've accumulated over the years, but I do tend to find that I'll, if I've got a day off work, I'll devote half a day for hunting down for something that I've lost. And it's really annoying. Especially when you could be doing something more practical that you're just sifting through a lot of stuff trying to find a long lost item on a positive note though you do tend to find something sometimes even things that you didn't even realize that you'd lost you find something and go oh my god i haven't seen that in years so anyway We've reached that magic 17 minutes, well nearly anyway. Getting a little bit of tongue bite off the salami, but they do tend to burn a little bit hot in my experience. And I never smoke a pipe the same when I'm on my own than I the way I smoke when I'm making a video. I think when I'm making a video and smoking, I just don't get into the same frame of mind. I don't think I ever light a pipe as many times when I'm smoking on my own, normally about two or three times, if that. So, I think that's all I've got to say, so if I don't um, make another video before, have a good Halloween and take care everybody. Thanks for watching.